All right. Hey, everybody. My name is Corey Jones. I'm with Compassion Works for All. I'm coming to you from my bedroom closet today, uh, trying to find a little quiet spot in the house. Um, our family is already on our holiday break. And so um, wherever you find yourself today, if you're breaking for the holidays or uh, still at work or whatever your, your role is right now, um, I hope that it's a, a time of peace and a time of relaxation and that especially you're in a place where you are, are satisfied with your life and um, content with your relationships. Um, I want to talk today, especially today is uh, the recording of this at least, is on December 21st, which is the winter solstice. And it's one of the, to me, one of the most fascinating days of the year because it's the shortest day, but it's also the day that sort of begins that turn back toward uh, the summertime. It's, it's oddly like the official first day of winter, but it's leading us back toward uh, the, the season where the days get, start to get a little bit longer. Um, but one of my favorite things about the solstice, though, is that it's the longest night of the year. So it's dark longer uh, than, than any other time of the year. And I think darkness is a bit underrated in our life. And that might be an odd thing to say, but we can learn a lot of things from being in the dark. One of my favorite authors name is Barbara Brown Taylor. She's an Episcopal. I recommend to encourage you to a second, but I think I'm back. Um, anyway, Barbara Brown Taylor in her book, Learning to Walk in the Dark, she actually goes out into the dark, into the woods around her house and learns to walk um, in the pitch black and learns the lessons from being out in the dark. And some of the main ones that we take from darkness are things like awareness. Uh, we become hyper aware, even if you think about it in, in terms of like walking through your dark bedroom at night. If you wake up in the middle of the night, you need to go to the restroom, you need to go to the kitchen. Um, your, your senses suddenly become hyper aware and, and the darkness sort of draws all of your attention and all of your focus. Um, it raises the level of your awareness with you, your other senses like uh, hearing, smelling, um, uh, feeling, and because you can't quite rely on your sight. And it draws our, our focus into the present moment, especially. That's what darkness can do whenever we're trying to navigate through it. Uh, we, we tend not to drift mentally into the past or into the future. We tend not to have lots of daydreams whenever we're trying to navigate through a dark place. We are locked in to the present moment. So um, on this day where we are literally uh, the longest period of darkness of the year, I, I think it's helpful to tap into those lessons that we can learn from that and, and to not avoid things like being in the dark. And maybe that's a good exercise for us from time to time to actually just shut off all light and just start to notice uh, where our minds go and what our bodies do in reaction to that. So um, anyway, just wanted to share that with you today because it is the winter solstice and I hope that everybody is um, settling in for a good holiday season, uh, regardless of how or uh, what format that takes for you. And, uh, and I hope that it is a, a season of, of joy and of satisfaction. Um, so today I just wanted to spend some very basic, simple uh, time in, in breathing meditation and just take a moment to relax, to let go of some stress and, uh, and to be aware of our bodies, be aware of the present moment and, um, and help ourselves settle into this season. So if you will, go ahead and take a seat. And I'm actually going to uh, keep my eyes closed this time. Uh, sometimes I, I like to have my eyes open, but in the spirit of being in the dark, I'm gonna see what it's like just to have my eyes closed for a bit. So settle into a seat, uh, feet flat on the floor, hands folded comfortably in your lap. Make sure you're seated upright, not rigid, but um, attentive. And let your shoulders fall away from your ears and relax your jaw either with your eyes open or your eyes closed, let's begin.
Let's bring our attention first to our breath. Breathe in and out through the nose. Make sure the inhale goes all the way down into the belly. Let the belly fill up like a balloon on each inhale and then deflate on the exhale. Let's just keep our attention here for a bit. Noticing the air on the inhale and noticing the air on the exhale. Make sure your shoulders and your chest stay relaxed. Try not to breathe into the upper part of the chest where you're pulling the chest up, but let everything relax and breathe deep down into the belly. And as we continue to breathe, let's start to notice what our bodies are doing. Notice if there's a place in your body where you feel your pulse strongly, maybe in your chest, it might be in your fingers. Sometimes I feel it in my feet, my toes. As you continue to inhale and exhale, just notice where you feel the pulse in your body the strongest. And if you don't feel anything, just put your attention on your heart center, on your chest. And continue to breathe in and breathe out. You keep your breath easy and light without forcing it. And let's start to notice our emotions and what we're feeling. without judgment and without pretending as though the emotions that are there aren't actually there, just start to name how you are actually feeling right now in this moment. And if you have a hard time naming it, just think in terms of general positive or negative 
Is this a good emotion or a bad emotion? Is this something I want to feel or is this something I don't want to feel? Don't try to change it or don't try to correct anything. Just sit with it for a moment. Don't run from it. And continue to breathe. And now, regardless of what emotion you're feeling in the moment, begin to draw in positive thoughts, positive feelings for yourself. Thoughts of love, thoughts of generosity, thoughts of compassion. And if it helps, imagine that some positive energy is starting at the top of your head and beginning to trickle its way down. This positive light is covering your eyes, covering your ears, down to your chin. This goodness is covering over your neck, your shoulders coming down your arms and into your hands, down your back, down your chest and your belly. This good positive light is covering your waist and your hips, your sit bones, your upper legs, down to your knees, your lower legs and shins. This positive light is filling up your ankles, your heels, your feet, all the way to the ends of your toes. You are completely covered and absorbed in this goodness. And as you continue to breathe, breathe that goodness from the surface into the inside, into your mind, into your heart center. This light, this love, this good vibe is filling you up from head to toe, not just on the outside, but also on the inside. It's not shoving away any negative emotions or any negative energies, but it's transforming them. It's shining light on them. It's exposing the negative thoughts we have about ourselves for what they are and transforming them into goodness, into light. And continue to breathe through this. Feel yourself, your body grounded on the chair, your feet grounded on the floor, that this isn't some faraway fantasy. This is happening here now in the room where you sit. You are filled and covered with goodness. You are filled and covered with light. 
you are filled and covered with joy, with satisfaction. Let's sit together with this goodness, with this joy, with this light. Continue to breathe. If you've noticed yourself starting to slouch, return to your attentive, mindful posture. Keeping your jaw relaxed, your shoulders relaxed. Just continue to breathe. Continue to let this goodness fill you up, cover you, consume you. Feel the stress melting away, floating away. And again, we're not repressing anything, we're transforming it. We're letting the goodness that's within us come up to the surface so that we can be led by that instead of by our stress, by our anger, by our frustration. We're going to let goodness lead the way today. If you feel your mind wandering off, that's okay. Just gently draw it back. Draw it back either with your breath, with your inhale and exhale, or draw it back with your body. Put your attention where your feet make contact with the floor, where your sit bones make contact with the chair. Gently remind yourself that you're in this room and you're in this time. And this is exactly where you want to be. Continue to breathe. Now together, being covered and filled with this light and with this goodness, let's together take one last deep inhale and breathe out. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. I hope that was helpful for everyone and um, that everybody has a wonderful holiday season. Enjoy this winter solstice today and um, stay fully present. Stay filled with the goodness that's already within you and uh, don't be tricked by the light or tricked by the darkness. So thank you all and have a great day.